did he he or did he and he? That is the question when it comes to P. Diddy as his homes are now being raided. Federal agents have descended upon Diddy's homes in Los Angeles and Miami. Now, Diddy's home in Los Angeles was raided as a part of an ongoing investigation, an investigation which involved sexual crimes, including trafficking. It's also unknown if Diddy was present, but it appears that his sons, King and Justin Combs, were handcuffed at the Los Angeles home. This is coming at a time when multiple lawsuits and cases have been filed against Diddy. Last November, singer Cassie filed the first lawsuit against Diddy when she alleged that he abused her for years, from 2005 to 2018. The two quickly agreed on a settlement the following day. However, an onslaught of cases came forward after that, with more people subsequently accusing Diddy of abuse in two more filings. Now, Diddy's sexuality has always come into question, but it isn't illegal to like the same gender. Where it does become illegal is when you are abusing that person, you're harassing them and drugging them, and you are also doing things against their will. Not only have multiple women come forward and filed cases against Diddy claiming abuse, but also a man, Rodney Little Rod Jones, has also filed a lawsuit against Diddy claiming the same exact thing. That Diddy was abusing him multiple ways, including sexually, drugging him and threatening him. But not just Diddy, multiple other people were named in Little Rod's lawsuit, including Diddy's son Justin, who is shown in handcuffs. These officers shut down the entire area near P. Diddy's Los Angeles home. With helicopters swarming up above, there were at least two choppers in the area and a lot of police on the ground. There are also law enforcement walking through the house with guns drawn, and there are people being questioned in the front of the house. Not only that, there are also videos which show armed agents standing on a boat and they too appear to be armed. So not only do we have federal agents walking the area around his home, but they are also in the skies, and they are also in the waters as well. I also wouldn't doubt if they were combing through tunnels as well. You never know. Now, is this really the end of Diddy? Is he really going down? Is he really going to be arrested? Yes, he will in a very Jeffrey-like fashion. If these allegations are indeed true, and there are many allegations against Diddy, then this man should be behind bars. He should never see the light of day again. But like Jeffrey, will he? Does anybody really believe that Jeffrey took his own life? Does anybody today believe Jeffrey is deceased? Many people believe that Jeffrey is underground somewhere in a bunker or on another island. How many people who were on this specific island or were connected to this Jeffrey were arrested? There was only one other person arrested in connection with Jeffrey, and that would be his female partner. But has anyone else been arrested for actually taking part in these crimes on this island. Now, here's another kicker. The federal agents raiding Diddy's homes are New York federal agents. The search warrants came out of New York. The same New York federal agents who raided a certain island, perhaps to clear any and all evidence. This is all a charade. Not only will this allow any and all evidence to be cleaned up and cleared, but this will also allow Diddy and his family to now be placed and hidden in their underground bunker, which we are seeing many billionaires build today. It's not just Mark Zuckerberg that's building these underground bunkers, but many billionaires who wish to remain unnamed are also building these underground bunkers, some with moats of fire. So I'm gonna call it now that we're gonna see many of these billionaires either get exposed or have something going on with them where they need an excuse to go missing, to go hiding. What perfect timing. Federal agents were supposedly monitoring this man for years, for decades. They knew he was assaulting children. And yet now, all of a sudden, after one lawsuit from a Rodney Jones, 
Now they want to take action. Now they want to raid his homes. Now they want to place his children under arrest. Now they want to place him under arrest. Just perfect timing. So at this point, you're probably saying, Minutes of Horror, you're just a conspiracy theorist nut job. You're a nutbag. How do you even know the diddler has any connections to underground tunnels and underground bunkers. Diddy's new $39 million mansion has an underwater tunnel. His homes also have dental offices and an operating room. So I am sure there are some sites to behold in his house. So as I was saying, this man is already connected to the underground. So would it surprise you that this billionaire also has an underground bunker? I am sure his home leads directly to his underground bunker. Diddy's lawsuit, the one that Rodney Jones has against him, is playing out exactly like Jeffrey's, where we have multiple unnamed people, multiple people who are in Hollywood that are remaining unnamed, multiple politicians who were not only assaulting and harassing adults, but also children. There were the underage. Just read this lawsuit. On or about July 2nd, 2023, in California, Mr. Combs had a listening party at his home. Present at this party was an R&B artist whose name was redacted, his son, Jay Combs, workers, and some underage girls. The event began at 7 p.m. Mr. Combs requested female workers and required Mr. Jones to solicit them. An hour later, several workers appeared. In addition to the workers, there were at least five girls in the crowd that were under the age of 16. P. Diddy forced all the women to drink Lace Delon liquor. Upon information and belief, Mr. Combs laced the liquor with ecstasy, and he did not check if any other girls were underage, and the presence of the underage girls made Mr. Jones very uncomfortable. So this is practically, like I said, the same thing like Jeffrey, and I am sure there are many more billionaires who are exactly like Jeffrey. And we're gonna see many more of these billionaires, these people in power, these high executives, such as the man who was in charge of Nickelodeon. All these people are gonna go down, they're gonna get arrested, they're gonna go into hiding, and they're gonna remain in their underground bunkers for the time being. This is not a coincidence that all these people are suddenly getting exposed and now they're no longer going to be in the public eye. Who's going to arrest them? The same people who are doing the dirt alongside these billionaires. These same people that are raiding their homes or in charge of raiding their homes were probably on these islands. They are probably in these homes doing the same dirt. As soon as I saw it was New York, federal agents out of New York raiding his homes the same New York agents that were raiding Jeffrey's home, I knew it was all bullcrap. This is all bullcrap. These billionaires, these horrible people that think they can hide just by going underground, well, we know how it plays out for them in the end. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel and you want to see more, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please like, as any engagement does help the channel grow.